How can you use the Excel conditional formatting icon sets in Power BI? Well, let me show you. There are actually three different ways you can do this. So let's start with the first one using DAX measures. In honor of the recent solar eclipse, we're going to pick this icon set that's the closest I could find and we'll use it to show how much of our annual budget is remaining. Think of it like a pie that is being eaten. Speaking of the solar eclipse, if you are in the continental US, I hope you got to witness it. We threw our own neighborhood eclipse viewing party and I of course showed up in my Power BI colored eclipse viewing glasses. Why not? And my daughter, uh, she was rocking her I need my space t-shirt. And uh, we had some fun with an Oreo Eclipse as well. So let's go to the demo. Here we have our classic AdventureWorks model. Let me show you the relationship diagram. So we have uh, sales, which includes the cost. And we have cost measures around that. And we have budget. And those are the two we're trying to compare. We're trying to compare cost versus budget. This is what we said we would spend. And this is what we actually ended up spending. So I have some measures defined here. Let's take a quick look at that. Um, of course, DAX is one of the key things that I focus on in my course. I truly believe it's at the heart of Power BI. But we're not going to dive too much into it. I'm just going to go through this quickly. So cost and uh, budget are pretty simple measures, just pretty much a sum. But then we have cost year to date, which uses our time intelligence function, dates year to date, to give us kind of an year to date cost number. And then we have budget full year. Let's look at that one. So that one is using all except. All function, in essence, clears filters. So we're here, we are saying clear all filters, any all and any filters found in the calendar table, except keep the year filter. We don't want to clear that. And that gives us the budget for the full year. And the next measure is percentage annual budget remaining. And that one is simply uh, this. Oh, oops, sorry. So I skipped one. There's annual budget remaining, which is simply budget full year minus cost year to date. So notice how I'm reusing these measures. And then there's percentage annual budget, which is saying that is simply this divided by this. And I love building measures in this manner. I think of them as Lego blocks. So I would have simple measures, which I then combine to form more complex measures. And uh, that is a terrific approach. But remember, we were trying to use these icon sets in Power BI. How do we do that? So let's go back here and I'm going to show you here. I added another measure which shows icon sets. I'm going to make that a little big. So let's skip to the, ne uh, the next uh, table that I have. Here you can see it a little bit bigger. And let's look at this measure. So again, this is the percentage indicator and it's reusing, it's essentially operating off of this measure, which was the percentage annual budget remaining. And it's a simple switch function. So let's take a closer look at this. It's a simple switch. And it's saying just, uh, you know, evaluate this condition is checking to see what range is this value in and based on the range, it shows a specific character. So let's talk about Unicare. So Unicode returns the Unicode character that is referenced by the numeric value. Now for this exercise, I wanted this icon set. So I went to this uh, website, unicodetable.com. Um, and I found all of these in the geometric shape. So I just picked them up, picked up the number, and I just plugged that in to my switch function over here, right? So that's how I got this icon set. So this is great, but what I want to point out is the awesomeness of DAX measure. I can't get, I, you, you know, I just never get tired talking about this. Uh, so let me clear these filters because that's what I want to talk about. So DAX measures are magical. They have the magic of define once, use everywhere. And here we have defined this measure which shows this character based on how much of the budget is remaining or has been consumed. And once you've defined it, you don't have to touch it again. You can slice and dice it any which way you want. You can say, show me, show it to me for 2015, 2014, show it to me for accessories, show it to me for bikes. How about touring bikes and road bikes and mountain bikes? And it doesn't stop there. It's not just about slicing and dicing data differently. You can totally change the shape of this report. You can really create 
any report using any of these fields available in your data set. And let me show you just a few examples. So instead of month, I can say quarters. And the only change that I needed to make was I removed months and added quarter in here. And now I have a quarterly trend with a quarterly icon set indicating how much budget is remaining. Uh, instead of that, I could trend things over over different years, like how did 2014, 2015, 2016 operate? And again, all I'm doing is picking out different fields in here and just clicking and selecting them. DAX measures, truly magical, define once, use everywhere. Let's get back to uh, the slide deck because I wanted to show you some of the other uh, Unicode characters which I figured might be useful. So you can have this kind of up arrow no change and you know kind of decrease going down maybe for year over year comparison this would be a good option uh smiley faces again depends on what you're trying to show and uh maybe these uh check boxes so yeah you can go raid that unicode table and use that to build an icon set using dax measure but what about totally custom icon sets now from the excel icon sets a lot of these can be found in the unicode table but not all of them and one of these is my favorite. And this one, uh, how do we do this in Power BI? I'm gonna show that to you in the next video and I'm also going to talk, talk about why this icon set is so much better than that icon set. What I want you to do right now though is to click that subscribe button so that you are notified as soon as I'm able to post the next video. Power on my friends. Hey, keep watching more videos and keep learning Power BI. But if you did enjoy this video, I would love to hear from you. So leave a comment, like, subscribe, all the good stuff. Power on, my friends.